When people think of comic books, they often think about spandex-clad superheroes and villains battling one another. And yes, there's a lot of that. But it's also a medium where a whole lot of great horror can be found. Here's what's new in comic book horror this week, December 14th, 2022. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Let's check out This Week in Comic Book Horror, December 14th, 2022. Eternal Descent, number two, is from Opus Comics. The story is by Michael Marici, with art by Marco Lorenzana. A struggling musician investigates into the ties between music and the occult, finding all it takes is the desire and a soul to bargain with to gain the fame she's searching for. The Opus guys are at it again, combining horror and hard rock in comic book form, this time with my friend, the talented Michael Morici, writing. Grim Tales of Terror, Holiday Special 2022, number one, is from Zenoscope Entertainment. The story is by Ralph Tedesco and Joe Brusha with, well, it doesn't say who's drawing this one. I'm not sure why they don't list the artist in the Xenoscope books. Maybe they're just trying to surprise us or something. But the founders of Xenoscope, Ralph Tedesco and Joe Brusha, tell four tales of horror hosted by Carrie's The Goddess of Death. While I don't know who's drawing it, the solicit promises blood, gore, and scares as well as the occasional wicked set of Give me a boo, boo, give me a B, B, give me a S, S, go boo! Bone Check number one is from Legends Comics Publishing. The story and art are by Cameron Johnson. The first issue introduces an all-new anti-hero, a hard-drinking, punishment-loving, no-nonsense bounty hunter with a cache of weapons and a horrifying smile. You're not ready for Bone Check but he's coming for you anyway. This one looks very cool. Horror needs a new diabolical badass, and this guy seems to be just that. Let's just hope he doesn't write a check. His bones can't cash. <laughs> Dream Master number one is from Black Box Comics. The story is by Jonathan Hendrick, with art by Luigi Baricelli. I like this concept of a dark paladin who travels the dreamscape protecting dreamers from nightmares while they sleep. Sounds like a winner to me, with loads of chances to delve into some juicy horrors. I'm definitely going to try to track this one down. Halloween, Seekers of the Seven Keys, number two, is from Opus Comics. The story is by Joe Harris, with art by Axel Medellin Makane. Opus continues to release horror-themed stories based on heavy metal icons and mascots. This one brings to life the album covers of the German speed metal band Halloween. I've heard of them. Can't name a song or album they've done, but I remember I might have banged my head a few times or two at their music. That's pretty much all I know about them, but this series is written by comics veteran Joe Harris as he tells an elaborate tale of fantasy and horror. Garbage Pail Kids Origins number three is from Dynamite Entertainment. The story is by Hans Rodianoff, Adam F. Goldberg, and Jeff Zapata, with art by Chris Meeks and Jeff Zapata. This issue is the stunning conclusion to the origin of Adam Bomb and his pals, which happened to take place during the final days of World War II. It's revisionist history from some of the creators of the Garbage Pail Kids series of cards we all collected as kids. Or am I just the only old guy who collected those? Lovecraft, Unknown Cadeth, number four, is from Ablaze. The story is by Florento Flores, with art by Guillermo Sana and Jacques Salomon. Our hero, Randolph Carter, is trying to get through the ancient world of Candath, but in between Carter and his destiny are nightmare monsters and the undead. It's a good thing Carter is a cat guy, because it seems those little pussies are the only thing that these monsters fear. No kitty, that's a bad kitty! 
Vampirella, Mind Warp, number four, is from Dynamite Entertainment. The story is by Jeff Parker, with art by Benjamin Dewey. In this issue, Vampy attends a party full of mystical murderers in a 60s bash that would make Austin Powers blush. <laughs> yeah. Jeff Parker is the capable scribe behind this groovy series with a bunch of covers featuring all kinds of Leonide the Vampir, A Christmas for Crows, number one, is from Dark Horse Comics. The story is by Mike Mignola, with art by Rochelle Aragano. Mike Mignola teams with expressive artist Rochelle Aragano to bring another tale of the sweetest and smallest vampire ever, Leonide the Vampire. In this issue, a tiny coffin shows up to a town full of pretty nice people. How will they react to this little bloodsucker? You gotta buy the book to find out. Dark Ride number three is from Skybound Entertainment. The story is by Joshua Williamson, with art by Andre Bresson and Adriano Lucas. DC scribe Joshua Williamson continues his haunting tale of an amusement park from hell, where demons roam the midway, all the fish you win are dead in seconds, and everyone has a fast pass but you. The horror. The horror. Elvira in Horrorland, number five, is from Dynamite Entertainment. The story is by David Avalone, with art by Silvia Califano. Elvira does body horror, and what a body it is. In this issue, the Mistress of the Dark goes Cronenbergian, so expect brundleflies, transporter pods, and all kinds of icky biological horrors. All brought to you by the gal with great wits and even greater comedic skits. What, did you think I was going to say something else? Shame on you. For shame. Really. The Bone Orchard Mythos, 10,000 Black Feathers, number four, is from Image Comics. The story is by Jeff Lemire, with art by Andrea Sorrentino. I really want to like this book. It promises to be the beginning of an interconnected horror universe created by Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino. But unfortunately, this first story is just two girls who get into playing Dungeons and Dragons, and then there's some drama of them drifting apart. It's still early in the series, so I'm sure the scary stuff will show up soon, but I'm getting antsy. Hopefully, this one will deliver the goods very quickly. Ice Cream Man number 33 is from Image Comics. The story is by W. Maxwell Prince, with art by Martin Morazzo. This is one of my favorite ongoing horror comics out there. Each issue is creepy as all get out and approaches classic concepts in creative and unusual ways. Every issue is self-contained, so there's no continuity at play. It's just solid horror one-offs every month. If you take on this one, it's... Happy Horror Days, number one, is from RG Comics. The story is by Frank Thierry, Joe Corallo, and Joanne Starrer with art by Patrick Piazzalunga, Butch K. Mappa, and Joe Eisma. With a Krampus rampaging through Riverdale, is there anything that can stop it? How about a werewolfed out Jughead? It's going to be a close fight, but if the Krampa has any hamburgers in his back pocket, he's going to be a goner. That's just one of three horror hits taking place in this holiday horror-filled issue, including a story by my buddy Joe Corallo, and art by my Jungle Book collaborator, Butch K. Mappa. So I've got to check this one out. Nightclub number one is from Image Comics. The story is by Mark Millar, with art by Juanan Ramirez. It's high time for another Mark Millar high-concept comic book, and this one definitely fits the bill. Not all vampires want to lurk around in the shadows and be all moody. This comic focuses on a trio of vampires who want to be superheroes. Check out this hero horror mashup from one of the best writers in the industry, and I'm not just saying that because we share the same name. Well, that's it for this week's haul. I'll be picking up a bunch of these titles, including Ice Cream Man, Dark Ride, I've got to support my pals Joe Corallo and Butch K. Mappa and pick up Happy Horror Days. I'll try to track down Bone Check and Dream Master, and of course, i got to pick up Millar's Nightclub. How's about you? Let me know which ones look good to you down in the comments.
be stuck inside your reality. Yeah.